Welcome to the cast iron Lebanese cooking and more. Hello my Dutch oven lovers. If you are not one of them, hope you will be soon. My dish to you today is about stuffing. We went through many a uh, couple stuffing before, zucchini stuffing, eggplant stuffing, but this is really more stuffing, different kind that the Lebanese dishes, they have variety of them. Some of them can be made veggie or with meat, but they take more time to make which is grape leaves, grape leaves with meat, grape leaves just with oil, or uh, cabbage with meat or cabbage with oil, Swiss chard, veggie also, or different other Swiss chard you can make. I want to start with the first one as a Swiss chard. How you make the Swiss chard stuffing veggie. We never made the Swiss chard with meat. It doesn't taste good. But the Swiss chard, you can make it stuffing Swiss chard, or you can take all the stems and make them salad with tahini. You can cut them and make them like a spinach pie, Swiss chard pie. They make them rectangular. You can buy them at the Middle Eastern uh, bakery. Uh, eaten cold, very good to have. A different variety, Swiss chard you can make. As I made before one video, in the winter is very popular. Lentil with the Swiss chard soup. And very easy to make, very, very easy to make. Today, my dish to you is starting this series of stuffing, but we want to go with the Swiss chard first. And that uh, chard that I cut is fresh from my garden. And let me show you very simple ingredients, similar to the tabbouleh, but instead we use burgul, we want to use rice. Let me show you my ingredients. The quantity I'm making, not too much, just for one bunch of parsley. And what I need is one lemon, another lemon to make it as a bed before I put the stuffing. I have one onion, not too small and not very big. I have two tomato, one I want to use for the stuffing and one I want to use it for the bed in the pot. Half a cup of rice, just regular rice. I'm using kale rose. You can use basmati rice or any other rice, but not the long grain rice. The lemon we talk about, one punch of parsley. I chopped over half of it. I will chop the rest. Two stalk on fresh mint. I have them from my garden too. And a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Let me make uh, plus a little salt and seven spices. That's all I have. The Swiss chard from the garden. I have the red Swiss chard. You can use the white Swiss chard. Just the red is, has little more vitamin than the white one. That's all the ingredients. First of all, I want to start with the onion. I want to use half of it, which is enough. The other half I want to use for the bed in the pot. After I put them in the bowl, 
I will add about half teaspoon of salt. I don't like too much salt. And a half a teaspoon of seven spices, which I made. You can go on my previous videos and you can see the seven spices. And then you put this and the spice and the salt will take, observe everything in the onion and make the onion tasty and sweet. Now we'll come to the parsley. I have uh, over half of it to chop. I have here some to chop in front of you. Put them all like this. Hold them. Start from here. Discard the stem. And we chop this. Okay. Now I want to add the rice and start with the tomato. It's all washed. I usually cut them this way. And go a long way. And about no more than quarter. We got all these. Now we can mix. Now we want to come to the the mint. If you don't have a fresh mint, you can use dry mint. You need about ta one tablespoon and a half of mint. Fresh mint, you can use more. Now the last thing we need to add is the lemon. It takes uh, probably with this lemon, maybe lemon and a half. I can get little more. This is good. And the last thing is, is the olive, extra virgin olive oil. This is our Swiss chard stuffing. Now, what we have to do is show you our next step. I have here on my aluminum uh, Dutch oven, water, I turn the heat on, on the stove, to make a boiling water. I have here in this bowl, just water, I want to add ice on it. And this will make, when I, when I put the Swiss chart to soften them in the boiling water, I will drop them in the ice here for shock them and let them cool fast without continue of uh, getting more soften and soften the swiss chard i have here we don't need the stem we want to cut here this as i told you i will make a video on these how we can make a tahini salad with the, the Swiss chard stems. These are the ones that will go in the boiling water.
the large one like this can be cut into three. The small one can stay as one. This can be two. Just easy when you put them in the boiling water is already you cut them. Now these are ready, just waiting for the water to be boiled. And then we can start from there. We got the water boiling. We need about 30 seconds, no more. This is where the timing goes. Cooking time doesn't take too much, but preparation with every stuffing, that's where is need more time to make. I have about two bunch of uh, chard here. We'll turn the heat, we're done here. Now is the fun part. How we stuff these. First, I slice the tomato and the onion, the half onion we have. I want to make a bed at the bottom. Have these here, like these, and put the tomato too. Then my stuffing will not burn too much at the bottom. It has a letter to stay, a layer underneath. Now we'll come to the stuffing. This we'll put it. The face is down, and this is a small leaf. Will be if here. It's too thick, we can, with a small knife like this, you can cut this slowly, like this. Or, other way, is this is not really too thick, but the other way is, with a mallet, you just smash this. Now we'll go to the stuffing. We'll put a tablespoon. We'll roll this first to the right, to the left, in, and like this. And we squeeze them. And we'll put them here. We'll make another one. This one in, this side in, we'll put it here. This is a large one. I can cut some of these. Open here more. Remember that the rice will, when it cook, it takes double the size here. That's what you cannot stuff more than one tablespoon in. The small one you can put less.
we'll, I'll make one more and then I'll make them all and then I get back to you. Now I got here the first layer and the rest I make whatever the stuffing made, all these, which is count 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Now the other lemon I have, I want to cut it and slice and make another layer of lemon in between. This will give me more tasty lemon. <laughs> now I put my second stuffing here across from the first one. That one this way, I put this one this way. Whatever I have left. If you have more Swiss chard, you add more stuffing and you can make it. Now with this situation, now I need a plate, porcelain plate to put it on top, to hold it, then doesn't float and then I will cover with water. I have two cups of water here. Let me see how many it might take. I estimate it, it takes two. Hmm. Uh, mine is very little bit, I don't need more. Now this goes on the stove. And we want to cook it. About 50 minutes, you will see no more water is there. And that will be, get back to you after about 50 minutes. It has been uh, 40 minutes right now. I turn the heat off. After start to boil, I lower the heat for about 40 minutes. Then I let it sit for 15 minutes after I turn the heat. And now let's see how we did. Swiss charred stuffing. Hope you like this dish. And as I mentioned before, it's uh, I'm using the kitchen oven, 10 inch kitchen oven on the stove. It's very hot in California these days and uh, I'm uh, not using coals. That's why I use the stove, but you can use coils if you are camping or you want to use your camp oven. Do not forget to subscribe and share and give me your comments. Thank you for watching. Bye.